Hello everyone, today we're going to look at what goes into a 5 foot segment of the Cage Advantage Live Cutting Edge. This bolt on cutting edge consists of a handful of different parts that work together to allow it to contour to different surfaces for a super clean scrape. Its parts include a back plate, 8 and 24 inch cutting edge sections, some 7 slots, slide bars, die springs, bolts and lock nuts. This is an aftermarket highway snowplow cutting edge that can be retrofitted to virtually any type of snowplow including pushers, wing plows, V plows, and straight blades of any brand. Start by bolting the back plate to your snow blade and then bolting one of the seven slots to the front of the back plate. Butt a slide bar up to the seven slot and then bolt another seven slot on the other side of the slide bar to keep it in place. Continue this process for the full length of the back plate. The back plate does have pre-drilled holes in a DOT punch pattern. If your plow doesn't use this type of pattern, you'll need to drill holes in the plow to match the bolt pattern in the Advantage back plate. Once all slide bars and seven slots are secured, you're ready to add the die springs which provide the down pressure on each of the independently floating cutting edge sections. Each section is capable of accommodating up to five die springs. If you want the cutting edge to float more easily, use fewer springs. For increased tension, add springs. You'll find a formula in the owner's manual to calculate the recommended number of springs that should be used based on your plow setup. There are multiple ways to install the springs, but it's helpful to slide the top of the spring around one of the vertical hex bolts first, and then compress the spring to fit it into the appropriate groove or notch in the slide bar. In this instance, we'll use a pliers or a multi-tool to control the spring while compressing it. Once the appropriate number of die springs are installed, it's time to finish off the installation with the cutting edge sections. Cage offers these 18 and 24 inch sections in either hard ox steel, which we're using today, or carbide inserted steel, which will have a much longer wear life. Since the tension is significant, we'll remove the spring in one section to demonstrate the vertical travel and oscillation of each cutting edge section. Again, a pliers or multi-tool will be very helpful in removing the die springs. Each section allows for 1 and 3 8 inches of vertical travel and will tilt slightly for side slopes. Keep in mind that live cutting edges such as the Advantage are helpful in reducing the amount of salt needed on roadways. <laughs> 